Hey, here's a really quick video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. This is about TIG welding brass. Now, this the weld did not come out like I wanted to. Thankfully, it's going to be all machined off anyway. What it is, it's a worn area on a hole through a brass plate. And all that wear area you see there should be metal there. It should be a nice square hole, but a bearing seat uh, turned loose and got all ground up. So the first thing, because this thing has been in a nasty environment, first thing to do is clean it up. Get the crud cleaned out of little, the little grooves that are worn in there. And uh, we used a uh, Dynasty 200 uh, DX inverter. And uh, I've found that pulsing, <clears throat> as well as manually pulsing the foot pedal, is, uh, is the way to get this done. And I've actually also found that welding backwards uh, helps a lot sometimes. This is brass. So brass has got zinc in it. You need a respirator. You need some ventilation. It'll make you sick, just like galvanized will. But uh, as far as welding goes, the zinc is a problem because it, it, it outgasses and wants to blow up onto your tungsten. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to stay, keep the heat on the puddle, on the weld metal, and not on the base metal. So I hit it with a little pulse, a little blast of amperage, while I dab a little rod in there and then get back over the puddle. And uh, that seems to work okay for building up areas. It doesn't look very pretty. It doesn't lay down a pretty bead at all but it's, you're able to get something done. And this, like I said, this is going to be re-drilled, re-machined, re-shined re up. And it's uh, aluminum bronze filler metal. I'm welding on AC. And that makes for a really good match where you can't see anything. I've done several of these. And even though the weld doesn't come out pretty, uh, they all clean up really well with, with, uh, with no defects or anything like that. So I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. This is just a, a basic technique. You can see and what I'm doing. Again, about, about 30 pulses a second. But I'm also manually pulsing the foot pedal. And you can go to the website page and find out uh, more detailed settings as far as shielding gas and electrode and all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time on WeldingTipsAndTricks.com.